Hello, in this video we're going to calculate nominal and real GDP using three years of data where the base year is the middle year. So here's our simple economy. We've got three years of data, price and quantity data on two goods, baseballs and soccer balls. We want to calculate nominal GDP, real GDP, and the GDP deflator in each year. We'll start with nominal GDP. So to calculate nominal GDP, just use the current prices and current output in each year to calculate. So nominal GDP in 2018, we're going to use the current prices in 2018 and the current output. So 4 times 20 plus 15 times 4 gives us nominal GDP of $140. Nominal GDP in 2019, we're going to use the current prices here, uh, so 2019 prices and 2019 quantities. So 5 times 24 plus 16 times 5, we have $200 of nominal GDP in 2019. And in 2020, just calculating GDP at current prices, so the prices in 2020, 6 and $20, and we're going to multiply those prices by the respective quantities, and we get nominal GDP of $340 in 2020. So now we're going to calculate real GDP, and when you calculate real GDP, you're going to use base year prices. So we're always going to use $5 and $16 in all our calculations, regardless of the year we're calculating real GDP. So real GDP, use base year prices and the current output to calculate. So in 2018, real GDP is the quantities in 2018 multiplied by the base year prices. So it's 5 times 20 and 16 times 4 to give us $164 of real GDP in 2018. In 2019, we're going to evaluate the quantities in 2019 at base year prices happens to be the same year. So 5 times 24 plus 6 times 5. So that is our real GDP in 2019. We get $200. And finally in 2020 we're going to use the base year prices of $5.16 and we're going to multiply those by the quantities in 2020. So 5 times 30 plus 16 times 8 gives us real GDP of $278 in 2020. And finally, we're going to calculate our GDP deflator in each year. And the GDP deflator is the formula where we take the nominal GDP in a given year and divide it by the real GDP in that year. And we multiply it by 100. So the GDP deflator in 2018 is nominal GDP in 2018 divided by real GDP in 2018. All multiplied by 100, we get 85.4. The GDP deflator in 2019 is nominal GDP in 2019, divided by real GDP in 2019. All multiplied by 100, and we get 100. Remember, in the base year, your GDP deflator will always equal 100, because nominal GDP will always equal real GDP in the base year. And finally, in 2020, we take the nominal GDP in 2020 and divide it by the real GDP in 2020, all multiplied by 100, and we get a GDP deflator of 122.3. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.